Hi everyone, in the uh, last video we have seen how to install Drupal 10 uh, and in this video we will uh, see how to install the commerce module uh, with Drupal uh, uh, 10 here. So, uh, if we go to uh, the official website of uh, Drupal itself, and we head to uh, the commerce module we will find uh, this command so we can make sure that it works already with, with Drupal uh, 10 here so we will copy this uh, combo the require command and we will head to our terminal here and try to review this uh, command. So, yeah, so that was expected. So, here let's see the error here. So, we say requirement couldn't be resolved, too. It can be many, many reasons for this. So, we have to track down what actually is going on. So, problem one root composer require Drupal commerce yeah that's what we we are calling for and Drupal commerce require Drupal acquire another module it's called a line entity and this in line entity underscore for module is in RC version okay here found all of those versions of this uh, line entity four, okay, and he found, but it doesn't match your minimum stability. So there is already versions that suitable uh, um, for this module, but it doesn't match our minimum stability. So let's see how to solve this. That's very interesting things to see. So if we go here in Composer. The JSON will find the minimum stability uh, here attribute, and we can say just that for the purpose of uh, of the demo, but it shouldn't be that like that at best of practice to upgrade this. So we will say it's a dev. Okay, let's head back to our command line now and try again to install Think. Okay, sound like it's solved and we have the Drupal Commerce already installed here. Since I didn't install Drush yet, might be in another video, I will go ahead and install uh, Drush for this, but let's now see what we have. Oh. So we don't need all of this, so let's fill up. Okay, so now if I hit to uh, structure and sorry, extend here, and I go uh, in commerce, yeah, so I can find now the module being listed here as you can see, and I'll just select the commerce uh, yeah i might need of course so i can select commerce or can just select the high level module here which might be i think promotion everybody i can manage promotion product so we can select product we might select card of course I think check out this means that we can see what this module actually depends on. So it depends on commercial product. Okay, so once installing this, it will actually do this. It depends on commerce card. So might not need just for redundancy. We don't need those. So I think by installing the check out 
will be good here. It has Kuma store as well. Yeah, so I just go ahead and try and say, yeah, it says give you like a message to telling you what actually is going to install. So we'll go ahead and install. Okay, so so like it's installed successfully here, and we have a new link in our uh, side menu. So if we go to commerce, we can have like line here. We can go to products, we can add new products, and yeah, you need to create a store of course first. Starting adding a store here and. Other other things like my store here and let's see. So I I may have another another uh, video for to get in details of how to configure uh, the commerce module itself. But yeah, that's how we can wrap it up here uh, regarding the installation of the commerce module itself and yeah see you in the next videos